Hey y'all, this is Tamika the Face Behind HR, and this is the second video of a series of videos where we're going to talk about layoffs. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to help you understand how to indicate layoff or that you are affected by a layoff or that you're a layoff employee on your resume. And so if you guys want to know like, Tamika, yeah, how do I put that on my resume? Should I put that on my resume? Where do I put that on my resume? Then you definitely want to keep on watching. So the first thing I want you to know is if you were affected by a layoff, put that on your resume. It's not, in my opinion, going to hurt you. If you're reapplying with the same org, they already have your name in the database. So when they put your information in there, it's going to be obvious that you were an employee that was affected by the layoff. If you're being hired or are trying to apply other places then putting it in there is a is something that's telling that company I'm available for work I'm available now I was affected by a layoff just keep in mind that most times layoffs isn't an indicator that you were a bad an employee it's an indicator that this company can no longer afford you as an employee so absolutely put it on there so what I always suggest to people is you're gonna always have on your resume where you have your job listed there so you'll put the job title and the company that you work for and probably that location and and the dates that you work there in that same area you can put it right in parentheses and and probably italicize it lay off affected by layoff layoff as of or you can put it on the end of the end date so you can put the date that you started put that date that you ended and right under it just put in parentheses layoff so I it's not a difficult thing to do um and it's not a bad thing to do so many people ask me as if it's like a bad thing and I'm like why why <laughs> you didn't cause a layoff it ain't your fault in most cases now some some companies decide that i'm going to lay off people according to their performance most times because it's a layoff they're gonna make not gonna make that like wide known all over the place they'll probably have conversations with you will they put that in your service agreement will they like most times they don't not all the time but most times they don't um particularly in the u.s so this could increase your chances of finding work quicker because people are gonna be like what to me available she available now she's been affected by layoff she got all these skills let me grab her before the next competitor grabs her so you don't have to disclose the details of your layoff please don't worry about saying well yeah because i got this severance agreement i'm getting paid to this date you know you're laid off all of those are benefits that the company is giving you because you were affected by the layoff you do not have to share this information with your new employer you don't have to say well i have cobras so i don't need your benefits that, that stuff y'all ain't gotta say y'all be sharing too much information people do that on a regular basis so they definitely will and have done that during layoff season so just chill out with that don't give away all these details and then just speak to the transformation transformations that you provided for that previous company. Your focus isn't to talk about the layoff and how it happened and how it affected you. How many employees we let go? Focus on, yeah, while I was there, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that. And you really don't want to say it in that way. You want to say, you know, over X period of months, out of this number of accounts, I was able to increase it to this amount. I was able to bring in X number of revenue when I started X months ago. I brought in this amount of revenue. You want to show a transformation that you provided for the company. Cool. I wanted to make sure you guys knew how to indicate that on your resume because I want to tell y'all a bit about some other issues you should know with indicating that on your resume. So some good things about indicating that on your resume is that people or hiring managers will know that you're immediately available for work. The second thing is they'll know that other orgs see you and know your worth because they hired you in the first place. Let's say you go and you're applying to this other tech company and they realize like sis been working at Google and for how many years? Like they're gonna be like, yeah, she's valuable that Google even hired her in the first place. And now she's worked there for all this time. So she's picked up all this information that she could definitely bring to our organization. So don't discredit yourself, okay? Don't discredit yourself. There are a lot of good qualities that could happen for you from being a layoff employee don't you know being laid off is bad and it, it's uncomfortable and, it, and it's a miserable feeling but it's a moment don't make it a lifetime all right now some bad things from putting this on your resume is that hiring managers will try to lowball you get prepared they're gonna be like sis ain't got no work she don't have a paycheck coming in so you know what we ain't gotta pay her this ninety five thousand we've been looking at we're gonna pay her seventy five thousand stand on firm on what you're looking for be prepared it's going to be some negotiating that needs to happen it's not going to be your first company that's going to say okay it's going to be some companies that be like she ain't got no work and she's saying no oh well you just go to the next company so get prepared because people just may try 
to lowball you because you're not working. The next thing is that they can reach out to others for unofficial references. So they might be like, oh, I know so-and-so and they got laid off there too. Let me ask them about this person. So it really sucks because they're really supposed to have you sign a consumer authorization form, make you aware that they're going to check these references ahead of time. But y'all ain't no different than what they do when you're on laid off. They still be doing it. It sucks. I wish that that employment laws would catch up to make that stop, but it hasn't stopped yet. So just be prepared that some unofficial references are probably going to take place. There's going to be some DMs about you. But the good thing about it is if you're talking about me, I must be a hot commodity, right? And you leave some good information at that last organization. They ain't got nothing to say except good stuff. Cool. All right. Now, the last thing I definitely want to share with you guys is that networking is pivotal, man. You guys play with this networking thing and y'all think like, what's me? I don't know how to network. Man, it's easy. Ain't no different than how y'all went from 50 friends on Facebook to 5,000 in two months. Like, come on. It ain't no different. Learn to grow your network in a professional atmosphere. If you're like, I don't know how to network. Like, to me, you you getting out of my comfort zone. Then definitely check out this video where I talked about network and I went over the basics and told you guys some places that you didn't even realize existed to network. Watch that video because I won't drown this video with that because we had to end on this one. Um, but it's not a bad idea to reconnect with past co-workers, past leaders. It's not a bad idea to join professional groups. You can do that on LinkedIn. You can do that on Facebook. You definitely want to get in those groups and then inform others that you were impacted by a layoff. You'll be surprised that people you've never even met just because you're in this group with them. They're like, let me look out for sus because she just got laid off. So I really want to help her out. Cool. So really put in some good networking techniques. Don't get all bottled into the details. Like, should I put it on? And if you're a little unsure if you should put on your resume, if you have been laid off or not, then try applying to multiple jobs with it on and with it off and see which ones get better traction. Cool. That's how you create your own metrics. You create your own job strategy. See, I'm giving y'all free tips. Normally you get that on a client call. <laughs> Anyhow, for those of you who are new, I thank you so much for visiting HR. I hope you found enough value in this video that you decide to subscribe because that would mean so much to me and so much to my channel, especially because I'm talking about a topic that I'm a little nervous about talking about as a HR professional. For those of you who are returning, y'all know this layoff series really got me a little nervous. So if y'all see me put up on LinkedIn that I'm looking for a job, then you know it was because I went at a risk. To give y'all this information about layoffs. I hope that does not happen. Um, but anyhow, I hope that you found value in this video. And I just cannot wait to see both of y'all, all of y'all, <laughs> on the next video.